I was relaxing with the bourbon when the call came through. It seemed billionaire entrepreneur Sir Richard Branston had disappeared. This should have been a job for missing persons. But as usual, there was no one about. So I headed over to his mansion and enjoyed a glass of bourbon as I prepared to interview the people I'd summoned, the last to see him before he disappeared. I interviewed Professor Plum in the study. He'd known Sir Richard the longest, having met him when they were at college together. He'd been the technical brains behind all of Branson's achievements, building the studios for his record label, developing trains for his railways, and most recently designing the equipment for the factories in his highly successful pickle empire. Plum clearly felt that he'd never been fairly rewarded for his skills and loyalty. I accepted a bourbon from Mrs. White in the conservatory. She informed me that it was her secret recipe for pickle upon which Branson's success was founded. Indeed, he had promised to name it after her. A promise, it seemed, that was never kept. On my way to refill my glass, I came upon Sir Richard's wife, Mrs. Peacock Branson, in the hall. Here, she admitted she'd become aware of her husband's string of affairs. It seemed he was a babe magnet, as well as a pickle magnet. However, she claimed she had turned a blind eye and she enjoyed the lifestyle his wealth brought her. And anyway, they effectively led separate lives. In the lounge, over another bourbon, Miss Scarlet confessed to the affair with Sir Richard but said she had ended it when she'd overheard his wife telling him she'd never allow him a divorce. All four claimed that the last time they'd seen Branston was at a cheese, wine, and pickle reception at the opening of his most recent factory, conveniently providing each other with alibis. A coincidence? I was beginning to have my doubts. I considered the situation, the bourbon aiding my concentration. Each of them had a motive to be rid of Branson. Scarlet, unrequited love. Plum and white, lack of recompense or recognition. And a wife who stood to inherit. All had the means. Could they have conspired? Without any more evidence, I had to hand the case back to missing persons. I know, deep down, it was murder but I'd never be able to prove it unless the body showed up. Mm -hmm.